Darren is hoping that a microchip will confirm that the dog has an owner and is not a wild dingo. No, unfortunately he has no chip. Still unsure of the dog's breed, vet staff make a telling discovery. Who is that? Yeah. Uh, are they Carlos the Tiger or Bush? Yeah. How many you pulled off in there? that many ticks on him and not show signs of advanced tick paralysis and his breathing is still adequate uh, that means he's probably been exposed to ticks over a period of time i'll get anywhere under the armpits in the ears he's acting a bit like the native bandicoots the native fauna uh, and he's able just to carry these ticks on him and not get sick he looks like he's a feral animal unfortunately in queensland laws they can't be released back into the wild they're classed as a pest I would never forgive myself if I put down someone's dog. So we really, you know, have to make sure that he is a dingo. Karen's making a call to a specialist back at the shelter to confirm one way or the other if the dog is a dingo.